I think regulation is going to help us in the long run, right? Right now, the total crypto market cap is less than a trillion and a half dollars, right? This whole system works by it becoming bigger and bigger, right? It's, it's less than 40 basis points of global net worth. And so the only way it becomes 3%, 4%, 5% is to have institutional money participate. And so we are going to get regulation. And that was Michael Novogratz on Squawk Box yesterday discussing the price of crypto amid a volatile streak for Bitcoin. The coin briefly dropping below 30000 on Tuesday morning, but bouncing back throughout the day. Dogecoin, um, Ripple and other cryptocurrencies saw sharp drops this week as well, reigniting concerns of what could turn into, or at least people are worried about, a crypto winter. Joining us right now with his take on crypto and the rest of the market, Tom Farley, Far Peak Chairman and CEO. He's also, of course, the former president of the New York Stock Exchange. Tom, it's great to see you. Uh, curious your reaction both to the move in Bitcoin, I think in large part as a result of, of, of what China has done, uh, but also in the context of what we've heard out of the Fed and what we see in the broader markets. Good morning, Andrew. It's great to, uh, great to be back. I, I think Novo was kind of, I, I like the way he thinks about it. Oh, it's a trillion and a half market cap. I think of Bitcoin as being a sub-trillion dollar market cap. I think the upper bound for now is gold, which is about a $10 trillion market cap. In order for Bitcoin to someday exceed gold, it'll have to be more of an accepted form of currency. I'm not sure, frankly, if it, if it ever gets there. With respect to the recent price moves, I'm kind of sanguine about them. Bitcoin's a very volatile asset class, in part because it's a new asset class. I have no doubt it'll go up, it'll go down. Over the long term, I still think it's a lower left to upper right uh, trend. And I think we're going to see that play out over five years. I think this kerfuffle about energy usage is an interesting conversation. But by and large, I think it'll be resolved because I think the blockchain at its core uh, adds to efficiency and, in fact, will right. add to energy efficiency over time. And so um, uh, I'm still very optimistic about the whole asset class. So but in particular, Tom, frankly, Tom, higher highs and higher lows usually mean something goes up to 50, pulls back to 40, goes to 60, pulls back to 50. It doesn't mean goes up to 20,000, pulls back to 2,000, goes right. up to 65,000, pulls back to 8,000, right. goes up to. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. higher highs and higher lows. Yeah can be something that, that people can ride out. Yeah, but, I completely agree. But it's, why would you ride this out? If Kramer yesterday said, uh, I'm out and, and I would buy back in he said like a 10 to Bitcoin 11, at 10 000. or 11,000. Yeah. 65 to 10 or 11,000 is, that's not a normal asset. Class, yeah, it's interesting. It? I heard You're a his, New York Stock Exchange president. No, I, I heard his comments and I tuned into Mad Money Former. hoping he was going to expand on it in the, in the, in the opening and he, and he didn't. He made short reference to it. I didn't understand um, and maybe we could talk to him at, at, at the end of the show here. I didn't understand his justification. He, he mentioned China. Yeah. Well, the China and, crackdown. And the, the fact that China's cracking, cracking down. down on the Bitcoin he miners, but sentiment. also anybody who wants to, to trade it. I mean, if, if they crack down on it, and they've been one of the biggest players, his thought is maybe it's hit the highs. But they now. just yeah, did, but it's a global But phenomenon. he was talking about Bitcoin is global. But he was I mean, talking China, about investor, a, investor sentiment. He yeah. said no one hates it. And until people... Everybody still says they're like oh, you. Oh, people are going to puke it out, and then it's going to yeah. trade down. Exactly. Okay, I understand. I, I mean, he always says there's, there's always something really, uh, really, Tom, really smart in what but, he says. But, but I think I, the, large, I, oh, like the, I said, the larger issue is... Left, upper right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.